The doctor's in. Uh, Michael Pride joining you from Final Round Atlanta 2018. Joining me today is the legend James J. Chen. Uh, we've both had very long weekends, it seems. <laughs> um, but the bracket gods seem to have been good to us, both in Dragon Ball and Street Fighter. Uh, we had Tokido and Infiltration and uh, Goichi and Sonic Fox twice, actually. Yeah, uh, exactly. And, um, I mean, these were the finals that probably a lot of people wanted to see. So Infiltration managed to win EVO Japan, and Tokido's been one of the strongest players for a good, good stint now in Street Fighter V. And so to get those two in grand finals was great, and of course... You know, Sonic Fox and Goichi are kind of people everyone feels are the two best in Dragon Ball in the, on the planet right now. They had that exhibition earlier, and sure enough, they played in Grand Finals as well. So, yeah, a lot of good, uh, a lot of good Grand Finals this weekend. So you mentioned the exhibition. I actually noticed you were a little busy during that. Uh, what, what happened there? So I was doing commentary for Street Fighter V, and uh, apparently every, all the other people who could be doing commentary asked ahead of time, don't put me on at that time. I didn't know this was a thing, and so I kind of got shafted <laughs> with that one. And so, uh, look, I'm not going to lie, like the Capcom people are going to be watching this and be like, oh, really, James? <laughs> so, I mean, we had the, the, the match going on on a laptop, on a, on a tablet, and half the times I was saying things were references to that match. Hit activated a level three, and then Akuma whiffed a parry. But you know how Akuma goes into a pose. I was like, oh, he tried to parry with the stance. <laughs> and I was 100% referring to it <laughs> in the other thing. I was talking about lightning leg loops, and that was about adult Gohan, not about Chun-Li. <laughs> but, you know, that's, that's, that's what happened. <laughs> It is an unfortunate set, but you know, it worked out well for pretty much everybody. Um, and so when we look back at Street Fighter, there were a lot of big names here this weekend. Some of them dropped out a little early, though. Yeah, I mean, look, this is just what's going to happen at this point in time, because the one thing about Street Fighter, uh, it has the largest pool of talented players. It is easily by far the hardest game to win in right now in the fighting game circuit because there are so many good players. So, you know... 380 some players entered but like I would say like a good 200 a high 200s close to 300s are all people who are pretty dang scary <laughs> we had so many Sako barely won one of his early matches Daigo almost lost to somebody as well before the top you know it, at the beginning of semis mm -hmm. Or well, might have even been in pools, I can't remember, but there are just so many good players here. You can't count anyone out. And so, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of players that went out early, but a lot of them went out to other really strong players. So it can't even really be considered much of an upset or anything like that. Yeah. Yeah. And so the reason, you know, a lot of big players are here is it's uh, the first event of the Capcom Pro Tour, which has seen some changes this year. I feel most notably is uh, Last Chance Qualify not, no longer playing first seed at Capcom Cup. And then the big changes to premieres meaning a lot more. Uh, what do you feel is the bigger change there? Uh, definitely the premiere event change. Uh, it's, I actually think it's a little unfortunate because the premieres also aren't particularly spread out through all the different areas. There's only like, yeah, and, but they're all in the United States or, you know, in this area, like Europe only has two premieres, right? And California already has like basically two. Yeah, uh, exactly. And so, you know, it's, it's, it's an unfortunate situation. Also, that means the people who travel to ranking events where the points were lowered a little bit, uh, don't, it's harder for them to get in just by traveling to ranking events if you can't make it to premiere events. So right now it feels more like you have to go to premieres if you want to qualify. And for players who aren't sponsored and have a little bit of trouble getting around, you know, that's, that's kind of an unfortunate situation. I understand why they want to do that, to make the premieres seem more important and to feel more important because they are, right? The premieres are the main ones. But at the same time, you know, we're not at a point yet where everyone can travel that they want to play. It's not like tennis where everyone who's playing in a major, that's their job, right? And um, playing in a grand slam, I should say, not a major. So we're not quite at that point yet. So like I said, I understand it. I think it might be a little too early to do that, but we'll see how it plays out this year. We'll see if it's vastly different than it was last year. So. And so another season that just started recently is Street Fighter Season 3. Uh, you know, we've seen a lot of Abigails, but uh, there's a lot of hate, but not one in top eight. What do you, what do you think about that? You know, um, 
a lot of the times, you know, a lot of people are going to try to use that argument as, oh, our Abigail's not as good as everyone thinks, et cetera, et cetera. Look, Abigail's good, okay? Let's, let's, not, let's not mince words. He's not unbeatable. He's not broken. He's not overpowered. He's just really good. Maybe the best character in the game right now. Maybe. But the thing about it is, if you look at the history of Street Fighter, the best character in the game during the course of Street Fighter 4 and 5 very rarely won events. In fact, in Season 2, everyone complained about Balrog, Urien, and Laura, and they very rarely made top 8s themselves, right? And the reason, one of the reasons why is because the characters that are the most annoying are the ones that you play the most against because everybody keeps trying to use them, and the ones that you're going to learn how to fight the most. So in Vanilla Street Fighter 4, Sagat was one of the best characters. He didn't win all that much, right? It was rare for him to win, but that's because everybody was fighting Sagat. So everybody would figure out how to fight him and learn how to fight against him. And so it, 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 it's, a, it's a weird thing. Like when your character is that good, that means everyone learns how to fight him. I've made a career off of playing characters that are not popular. I was, I've been a low tier hero my whole life. and. I would win a lot of matches because people just don't have any familiarity with my character, you know. So even though the character is not good, you can still eke wins off that way. So there's a weird give and take in that kind of scenario. So it actually doesn't surprise me that there's no Abigails in top eight this weekend. Yeah, and you know, you've been pretty outspoken about Manat and both Kid Boo, who did see a fair amount of play, I'd say, this weekend. Uh, so they may be climbing the ranks. But so with final round now completed, uh, what's next for you? Uh, I will be at NCR coming up in a couple of weeks. That's going to be the next Capcom Pro Tournament. I think that's also going to be another stop on the Tekken World Tour, I'm pretty sure. Uh, you know, um, the t look, the fighting game tournament season is underway. We've got a lot of great things going on. There's a couple of events that weekend itself, actually. Anime Ascension is happening uh, in Southern California, where a lot of people are going to be playing a lot of Guilty Gear and, you know, Blaze Blue, as well as some Dragon Ball as well. So, a lot, it's, 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 I, I want to call it a great time to be a fighting game player. At the same time, it's a tough, it's rough, it's really rough. because there's so many games to play. So, so many too. yeah, and 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 while overall it's definitely a good thing, you know, for for especially for me, because like I like all the fighting games and I want to play them all. <laughs> I don't have time, <laughs> and on top of that, I can't even play the regular video games, you know. So it's it's tough, but you know, I can't even complain about it because you know this is kind of like dream come true scenario, you know, seeing the fighting games being played at this level and seeing how much everybody's enjoying it. We had uh, tons of people watching this whole weekend. We had a ton of people uh, on the stream watching Dragon Ball. That grand finals was ridiculous. Uh, yeah, and then just now Street Fighter, we had a ton of people watching on that grand finals was ridiculous. So it's a good time. It's a good time to be a fighting game fan. For sure. All right, well, thanks for the time, man. Uh, good luck at NorCal Regionals, and I look forward to talking to you again. All right. Sounds great.